These pink ties aren't trail markers, despite what the sign says. Officials say they're remnants of land surveying, marking the area as a potential site for future development. <laughs> Houses that could have popped up right next to this trail in John Dean Provincial yeah, Park. There was another offer and um, that I think fell through. Now it's been saved. A partnership between BC Parks Foundation, Friends of John Dean Park Society and Say Out First Nation. Together, safeguarding one of the last remaining stands of old growth Douglas fir and Gary Oak on the Saanich Peninsula. When a person is able to be in an old growth forest, that feeling is, I mean, it's just, it's like reverence. The foundation signing a deal to buy the six hectare parcel for $1.6 million. Day says it's a purchase inspired directly by the piece of property just next door. More than a century ago, John Dean Park became Canada's first provincial park donated by a private citizen sparking a movement that person's generosity just yeah. you know was inspiration for four or five other people who donated to create john dean park and then for this for all of our donors to add this uh, piece of the land so it's it's a continuation of that spirit of, of reverence and generosity plans on how to use the land have not been finalized but ideas are being thrown around like connecting a trail to the provincial park. With a variety of ecosystems, some cleanup is needed first. Invasive species removal, protection of the land the way it is right now, and keeping it like this, that was the whole point. If I hadn't already grown into time and place, my name would be waiting. The purchase isn't solely about conserving land, but reviving traditions. Mavis Underwood says the area is living curriculum that students have already been using to learn more on the history of the Wasanish peoples. These are the markers, these are the, the indicators of different things like an ocean spray plant telling them that the coho are coming. Um, so they look for things like that, important markers, and, and the children are learning that. As plants continue to form, the area will remain closed off to the public to protect sensitive species.